morning guys it is the 17th of september today and it is the start of my second university weekly vlog and you're probably thinking that's not your uni room this is my actual bedroom back at home if you're new to my channel which there are so many of you this is my actual bedroom and i have been here this weekend because you may have missed it but i got a puppy which was like a pretty big deal obviously so i had to come home i'm heading back to leeds this morning kind of reluctantly i don't want to part with the dog i don't really want to part with my family in fact if i'm a hundred percent honest there is absolutely nothing making me want to go back to leeds however i have to and i'm gonna do my absolute best to not get as upset this week last week if you watched my vlog i was very down and i still kind of feel like that but i'm gonna try my absolute hardest this week to not cry <laughs> every day um and to just generally have a more positive attitude i've spoken to my friends about it they're like on board like you know um and basically i have 45 minutes until i need to leave so i'm gonna straighten my hair put a little bit of makeup on i have repacked up my suitcase because i'm not coming home again for like two weeks um i'm not leaving it that long i don't feel like i should have to keep explaining myself but basically i do want to come home from uni quite often mainly because of the puppy now like i'm pretty sure if you've just got a dog you'd want to go home too but also just because obviously my boyfriend is here my family are here everything i have ever known is here <laughs> this week in leeds should be better because it's freshers week so that is going to be the theme of this vlog not that i'm theming them but i think that obviously like freshers week is freshers week so i am going out tonight it's my first time clubbing in leeds uh while i've been at uni i've been out in leeds once before um i went to prism tonight i'm going to a neon rave where i think you get paint thrown at you but i'm actually not too sure if it's just like a brightly colored party or if it is a neon paint party so right now i'm gonna straighten my hair and try not to chat as much in the same place and don't you worry i'm gonna film the dog before i go so that this vlog is blessed with some lottie footage here she is the promised lottie content lottie lottie doesn't quite learn her name yet i'll be a little one. Oh, good girl come and give me a hug before i go you need to come and give me cuddles <laughs> I'm definitely gonna cry. How tiny she is, guys. Look at her compared to the size of my bag. She would definitely fit in my bag. <laughs> oh, you pushed her over. <laughs> Animal cruelty. You watched that back? I didn't. She's going to get her food. So I'm now ready and I don't wanna go. I wanna stay here with the dog. I wanna stay here with the dog. Say bye to the vlog. Lottie. Lottie, come here. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna miss you so much. She's gonna be here next week. Do you want to get in the bag and come with me? Please do, I need a friend. Oh, what are you eating? What are you eating? No, that's an expensive bag. We don't eat, we don't eat designer bags. We really don't. She is a designer dog. So, we are setting up the radio. We've made it back to my flat. Here's the radio. I've been banging on about this, basically. I tried to tune my clock, but because this cost four pounds from Asda, I can't tune it properly and I don't really know how to and I also don't know the radio stations around here because obviously I know the radio stations for like Radio Humberside, Capital Yorkshire, all of that stuff but it's different here. So my dad is going to do this one for me. He's here. Going to be leaving shortly, which I don't want him to. Um, and then I am going to be meeting, I'm going to say my friend because I definitely want to be friends with the people that I'm meeting today. I'm meeting a girl called Eleanor off my course and we're going to go into like, I was going to say school, it's not school at all, university together to catch up on the work that I missed on Thursday. I'm and what we're meant to be doing today because today is monday i'm not in uni but i'm meant to be doing independent work um which is in my a1 portfolio which i just struggled in the lift with because it barely fit so my dad has left and i didn't cry let's all give me a clap please do it now um and i've just spent an hour in the kitchen having some lunch i made myself some noodles and talking to the fourth lad that i've no third lad fourth person in the house that i've met i only have one more person to meet now and i'm actually going to go into uni now so i need to get this um and then i'm going to walk there uh, because it's really like quite nice weather today like you can't see out the window at all but it is so i'm just gonna carry my heavy weighty a1 portfolio i'm gonna vlog this because you guys seem to really like when i vlog and i'm being real so i'm sick to death of crying i've cried more in the last seven days than i have done probably in my whole life and it's not even that i've had a bad day because i haven't like when i went into uni it was fine like i'm not gonna say it was good because i'm still sat there thinking i would rather be at home and i know i need to change that mentality but i have got like friends and we went to primark and stuff and when i was there i was like having a good time and we were like trying clothes on and stuff and we went to this market and like it was nice and i didn't film it just because i'm not comfortable enough with anyone yet like i am really sorry but i think it'll be a while before i vlog outside <laughs> maybe not like if i'm outside 
outside of my own but outside with other people and then i got back in the flat and i don't know why when i was on the bus i could just feel myself getting really like worked up and like breathing really fast and i was like i need to calm down i need to calm down nothing is wrong <laughs> nothing has changed i've survived today nothing is like nothing is different and i could just feel myself working myself up and then i got back in my room and i saw my suitcase just like half unpacked and i just thought about how like my dad was here with me this morning just makes me want to go home like i don't know why i'm struggling to settle in because i'm not unindependent i am an independent person but i really don't like being on my own in this city like i know that'll come with time i don't know like even though i know that the positives probably are outweighing the negatives i can't help but focus on the negative and like i'm just getting upset for no reason like i'm thinking of home and i'm thinking of tom and i'm thinking of lottie and i'm thinking of what they're all doing and i'm thinking of how easy it is for me to just get an uber to the train station and be home within an hour it's a bad way to think about it but that's what i'm doing and i don't understand how some people are fitting in so well and like i know everybody's different and stuff and i know it's okay to feel like this and i'm sick of it to be honest it's tiring it's so tiring so i'm gonna try and tidy my face up a bit and i'm gonna film a video and also i put this map up i've got this scratch map fun fact that was the first thing i ever ever got sent from doing youtube which was ages ago which is mad but i just feel like mentally exhausted like <sighs> i just don't know what i want like generally right now i don't know if i'm doing the right thing i don't know if i'm doing the right course i don't know if i'm in the right city i don't know if i want to do a course at all like and i think that's why i keep getting upset because like i'll have moments where i'm enjoying myself and then the realization that i literally don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i want to be doing <laughs> hits me and i just feel like exhausted like i was so adamant to not cry today i was so proud of myself for not crying when my dad left i was like yeah like go me this week is gonna be way better and now here we are crying again i need to just get over it and film a video now So, update time. I'm in a better mood, as you can tell. I actually don't really know what changed it. I think it was the fact that I just met my fifth and final flatmate. So, if you didn't watch the vlog last week, I'm in a flat with all boys. I wasn't overly thrilled by it, but now that I've met them all, it doesn't really bother me. I've never had an issue getting on with boys. Um, I've grown up with male friends, like that kind of thing. So, it didn't, like, it wasn't a massive issue, but I was a bit apprehensive. But now that I've met them all, I'm a lot more reassured. I'm kind of excited to go out tonight now. I think I would be really bored if I wasn't going out. And I think that is what, that is when I get down, when I'm bored and not doing anything so yeah that is the plan i've just got ready i'm wearing like quite basic makeup just got a little bit of pink eyeshadow on fake lashes and then this is my outfit so i bought this skirt oh falling over bought this skirt in primark today for eight pounds and i'm wearing it with a white top and the reason that it is so plain is purely because i'm going to a neon rave party that's my mum rapidly texting me because I don't know where anything is. Like, she sorted all my clothes out in my room and I don't know where she put stuff. So I'm like, where's my bag? Yeah, I'm a lot more ready. Feeling up to it. I'm going to have a drink. And I know, like, I'm not advocating drinking, but I do just think that in order to socialise without being painfully awkward, I think the easiest thing is for me to just, like, have a little bit of the cheeky vodka. And I have bought myself a bottle. I've got a bottle of vodka and a bottle of gin in my room. So we love being a student. I'm going to actually empty it into a bottle of water, though, because I don't want to take, like, a full bottle of vodka because I won't have anywhere to put it when I go to the club so i'm going to take a bottle of water filled with vodka to pre-drinks and then go out don't really want to get too drunk purely because i have to make sure i can get back i'm so aware of so many horror stories of freshers week where people end up in like a gutter so i'm going to try and find my bag there's currently quite a lot of people in my flat i quite like the sound of other people though it makes me feel like i'm at a rave <laughs> at a rave i meant like i just like hearing other people getting on and stuff so I need to find my bag now so purely because i don't really have anywhere to put it and also because i don't want to get it stolen broken thrown a drink on thrown paint on um i'm not going to bring my camera but i am going to vlog some of it on my phone so like i'm gonna insert some snapchats after this kind of thing i'm sorry i hope you understand the vlog footage is not worth the 500 pounds that the camera costs for it being trashed in a club um so i'm probably gonna come back looking an absolute mess because i don't know if i mentioned but they do throw paint at this party like it's a paint it's a uv paint party um which actually should be really cool like it's the kind of thing you go to in like ibiza or like muggle off kind of thing so yeah i'm excited actually i'm gonna head off now to ellen flat which is the girl that i was with today and then we're going somewhere else for more pre-drinks and then we're going out at 11 which is so light i'm such a grandma i know but 11 o'clock is my bedtime and also i haven't eaten that much because i've just had like no appetite since i've moved out really so i've tried to eat but like it's worse force feeding yourself so probably gonna be drink off one drink drink off one drink drunk off one drink so yeah insert some snapchat footage and i'll vlog when i get back maybe or tomorrow morning <laughs> Good morning. 
It's Tuesday morning today and I've woken up feeling probably the best I've felt so far since I got here. I don't want to say that it's like amazing or anything but last night was so much fun. Like I got back at, I think we left about two because we have uni this morning so none of us wanted to be out too late because most of the girls were in this morning at nine. So that was really early. I'm not until 11, it's currently five to 10. So I'm gonna put minimal effort into my appearance and hopefully be ready on time. Although, I've just remembered I don't have any milk and I'm so gutted because I was so excited for my cereal. So, I might ask somebody if I can borrow their milk. Just eat it dry. However, I'm really sad about that because I was so, like, looking forward to my cereal. Um, but, yeah, we went to a neon rave and it was in like a warehousey place kind of like a like mill um, and it was actually really cool so we got we left at two and then two of the girls that i was with came back to my flat to get food because we thought the dominoes was open there's a dominoes near my flat it was not so we got here and we just came into my flat for a bit so we stayed up talking till three the girls left at three and then I went to sleep just after. And I woke back up this morning at nine. So I'm pretty tired. I've had just under six hours sleep, but it's not too bad. I'm not hungover. I'm fine. Um, and it was actually a really good laugh. And there is a person in the window opposite me staring at me. I hope they're just looking out the window. Okay, so today I'm wearing dungarees. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really feeling this outfit. Um, but something I'm really impressed with is that I bought these these jeans these dungarees when i went to new york the first time around i was 14 or 15 i've grown at least like four inches since then and these still fit me like i've rolled them up because when they're rolled down they're a little bit short but generally i am well impressed that i can still fit in these like 14 year old me clearly we haven't changed um but yeah i've tied my hair in a ponytail because i couldn't be bothered to straighten the back so the back's like curly but we're living with that so i'm once again joined with my hybrid breakfast of crave and Corky crisp? Cookie crisp. Um, and then I'll show you the kitchen when I go back in there because I actually have quite a few pots to wash up because when we came back last night we had some water and everybody had a glass and then all my glasses were used and yeah, I hate washing up. I look very rough but I'm currently waiting for my flatmates to come and meet me to go and do a food shop which is why I'm sat outside at Morrison's which is here. Um, and this is the view I currently have, which is of a Weatherspoons. Okay guys, I'm now back from uni and there has been a big gap. In fact, I can't remember the last thing I vlogged, I think I was at Morrison's. There's been a big gap and I will fill you in on that, but currently I'm on FaceTime to Gabby, who you guys know is my friend from home and she is in Leeds as well at Beckett and you started this week, yeah, your course? Or kind of next yeah, week? My induction was this week, but I fully start next week yeah so yeah she is what like 10 minutes away from where i'm staying about 10 minutes ish um nowhere is far like everywhere is really really close um so like a 25 minute walk from where you're staying to the yeah i mean no no it's like 15 minutes to the center from here it took me 15 to get to morrison's well my flatmates walk very fast so it could be that like I was basically jogging to keep up. Anyway, yeah, I'm talking to Gabby. I'm actually going to meet up with her on Thursday this week and potentially Friday. Oh, and potentially tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I could be seeing her Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I might go out tomorrow night because like this morning, I'm not going to lie to you, I felt pretty rough after last night, but now I feel fine. So right now, oh my God. <laughs> This is what I was about to say, guys. The electrics have been going out. This was what I was gonna say was funny. I just, lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off. Like, this hasn't happened, and then tonight, one of my flatmates is cooking pizza, and apparently the oven just is not agreeing with the electric bottle. Oh, they're back on. <laughs> I think they've gone off about six times now, maybe? Five or six times. And my, um, my, my clock's gone off, my radio's been untuned, and I reset them the first time, but now there's just no point because the oven's tripping the electrics every single time. It, like, gets to heat or cools down, so basically when the door opens. We just asked maintenance, and they were like, oh, we'll, we'll sort it in the morning, but it's a bit annoying, because, like, people are cooking in the kitchen right now, so it's funny, though. Who hasn't had their tea at, like, nine o'clock? Oh, well, Gabby, we're students now. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you Gabby to prove that I do still have some friends. <laughs> Here's one of them. <laughs> the dog is now on FaceTime to me. We're just having all the FaceTime calls tonight. Um, I'm, I am going to update you on today, but first, here's Lottie. Lottie. Oh, little one. I miss you. Cuddles, please. Okay, guys, I haven't caught up with you. I'm going to try and keep this brief. I'm so aware that all the vlogging clips are long and emotional, and, and mainly that's because that's my mood, but there have been good things. Like, today I had my photography induction, so I'm going to speak a little bit about the course. It was okay. Really quite boring. Like, I did photography at A-level, so I was just going over stuff that I did about two years ago when I started that course, so the work they were showing us was 
feels really cool to be fair like I was like oh yeah this kind of makes me want to get into it again and then when I got back I think it was just because I was so tired I was just absolutely exhausted I had five hours sleep last night I FaceTimed my mum and dad and they were showing me the puppy and I just got really emotional I'm just so all over the place with my emotions and then I uploaded my video from tonight which was my what's in my bag and I know I wasn't myself in that and I did say if you want to watch me genuinely like come and watch my vlogs because I'm being honest and open um, and I did say that and I was really down in that video because I filmed it right after I'd been upset I'd been like crying on the phone to my mum like I'm just not sure this is right for me I'd been really upset and then I was like do you know what I want to do I want to throw the little energy that I have into filming a video and um, it distracted me and I liked doing it because it took my mind off it and I was really down in the video and I know that when I was editing it I was like I really don't like this video I don't like it um but I've got Tom on my face time and he's laughing at me um but I wanted to upload it for you guys and I didn't have anything else and it's not that I felt like I had to because I know that if I'd have been like oh I'm having a week off you guys would have been fine but like I wanted to Tom's here he's taking the mick out of me I've had Gabby on FaceTime I've had my mum and dad on FaceTime and I've had Tom on FaceTime the company just really helped so yeah I am I'm just very tired tonight after last night and I do need to go to sleep now so that is what I'm about to do but I'll pick you up in the morning I might vlog a bit of the course tomorrow I've actually got such a busy day tomorrow so I will explain it all in the morning going clubbing again tomorrow night though freshers what, what? I hate me too Good morning, it's Wednesday and I have put a lot more effort into my appearance today purely because I have quite a long and busy day like so I'm going into uni in about 20 minutes I need to just have some breakfast really quick yeah I had a shower this morning got up I haven't washed my hair because I'm actually going clubbing tonight so I thought there's no point in washing my hair it'll just get sweaty they should be really good I don't know if I told you guys yesterday but my dad is actually coming to Leeds tonight for well he's like driving through it basically we live in Hull and my dad works in Manchester like two or three days a week I'd say um, so he is like back and forth across the M62 all the time and obviously Leeds is slap bang in the middle So when he's driving back, it's gonna be tea time. So he was like, oh, do you want to meet me for tea? But I said yes, okay, and I'm not gonna get upset about him leaving me I'm not gonna get down about it I'm just gonna look forward to the familiar face and a nice conversation. So I've put eyeliner on this is like my promise to myself I haven't worn eyeliner all week because I know that I would just cry not gonna cry today and I'm not crying this eyeliner off. This makeup is staying on. PMA, positive mental attitude. I've just sat and done my makeup whilst watching Unjaded Jade's Law of Attraction video and how to alter your thinking because I think now it's got to the point where I've convinced myself that I don't want to be here. Like I don't enjoy the course. I've convinced myself a week in and that is not okay. Like I need to give it at least eight weeks, six weeks to know if I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna try today, put in place some positive thinking methods. Obviously you can't change that overnight. The first thing is, I'm gonna go and get breakfast and I'm quite excited because I'm quite hungry. So you guys can come with me and I'll show you a bit more of my actual day today. That is a promise to myself and to you. So this is the kitchen. Haven't vlogged in here yet because I've been too shy, but I'm doing it now because today's a new day. This is my cupboard with my cookie crisp in it. Um, and I also need to get my glass. I think, oh here it is, is that dry? That's dry enough. And then I'm having, uh, I'll use my bowls, one here. And I need to take some stuff for my lunch. I might take my little tiffin that my mum baked me. And then I'll take a banana and I'll take a packet of quavers. And I should be getting free pizza as well today. So we love a health queen, don't we? Look who's here, looking all smart. Yeah. Um, my dad, I think I explained this, you've been working in Manchester, haven't you? So he's passing Leeds and he thought he'd come and cheer me up by taking me out for tea, um, which was actually really nice. And I haven't cried today, so I've stuck to my promise. Look, I put eyeliner on. Because if I have eyeliner on, I can't cry. There you go. So, not allowed. And after I've been out with my dad for tea, it'll probably just time really well to go meet Gabby, who I'm going to prison with tonight. And we went to the Freshers' Fair, which was prison, not prison. We went to the Freshers' Fair, which was at the O2. I heart vodka don't really and we got so much free stuff that we have now got so many discounts and my favorite my personal favorite freebie is this pair of mail boxes that say i heart vodka on so do you want these yes do i have to wear them now no please don't oh, do that yes look at that quality content so if you're if you're a fresher go to freshers fair and get, actually yeah let's do that again <laughs> go to a freshers fair and get yourself as much free stuff as you want because i also registered to be a revolution like club member and that means that i get two free shots when i go in next time and that would be enough for me so that's a full night out for free anyway we're gonna go to trinity now aren't we yes let's go 
So I'm in TGI's with my dad and for the first time this week I'm having like decent food. So these are my starter. Although I'm not that hungry so I'm like eating these and then I've ordered fajitas and I know the sizes in here are huge. But I've got, this is my view. I love it. This is definitely somewhere I would have done photography in um, year 12 because this, not year 12, year 13. This was right up my street. And then um, I've also got a mojito because I'm pre-drinking before I go out. Look at our fajitas. Doesn't that look Paying out of 10. There's a lot here though, to be honest. Like, I'm probably not gonna eat all that. You're gonna have to help me. No, we're not having a doggy bag. Oh no, it would taste gross cold. So we took a lot of the fajitas out because there's like so many. Wait, let me turn the music down. But yeah, they gave us so much food and I'm not that hungry. I've just had like no appetite recently. You're taking them back for Harry, aren't you? I am. And then in about, I think probably about 45 minutes, I'm going to meet Gabby to go to antics at prison, which should be good. Although obviously now I'm getting sad again because I'm being left. I know the comments are gonna be like, your dad shouldn't have come to see you. Other American fast food diners are available. Why do you think you're funny? You're not. I am funny. You're not. Leave the comments if you think I'm. No, I'm not funny. I'm no, you're not funny. Also, you need a shave. Yeah. I had a shave this morning. You need another one. That's how quick it grows. Well, you didn't have a full shave. This Can you imagine if you had a full shave this morning? I know some like people that. like that. That's actually That's for a full beard. In one You'd never day. be clean shaven. It's like it's like um, no the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. What he shaves it off. He <laughs> shaves off in straight straight. Do you think I have a dint in my head? Yeah. That's from frowning and being sad. Yeah, that is what it's from. <sighs> I want to see the dog. I said your picture when you get home. When I get home. Bye vlog. I'll see you. Next week. Next weekend. So, my dad's left. I can confirm I actually didn't cry. I feel close to it, but I didn't. So, like, mm. And I need to get ready now. But my stress is, I don't know what to wear. Because, obviously, like, it's a club and it's going to be so hot. Because Prism is so busy every single night. Like, I went in the summer holidays. I think it was, like, July, actually. So, it wouldn't have even been summer yet. I think it was before summer. Last couple of months, I just blurred into one. Um, and I wore, like, a short skirt and, like, a crop top. And I was absolutely boiling when I was inside. Like, so sweaty. But when I was outside, it was fine because it was still summer. But now it's so cold tonight. It's absolutely, it's been pouring down my brain. It's so, so windy. And I think I'm going to have to queue for probably about an hour because the queue for Prism is always ridiculous. I don't know what to put on. I don't really want to wear a nice pair of trousers because they'll probably get drinks spilled down them. But then I'll be so cold in a skirt. I don't know. Anyway, I just had a really nice chat with my dad. Like proper, proper good chat. And it, oh, there's nowhere I can stand where I'm not back in the wardrobe. Does that work? Yeah, it kind of does. Um, yeah, and I just explained exactly how I'm I'm feeling exactly how like I want to feel and what I want to do to like get there I know that him and my mum are like definitely gonna support me and whatever I decide and if I did decide to drop out which right now I am massively considering um like probably a bit too much I should definitely be giving it more of a chance but I just hate how I'm feeling right now I hate feeling like this and I know the answer not crying I know the answer isn't to run away from your problems and to like face them head on and tackle them and like overcome it until you love it kind of thing but I also know in myself if I'm not happy in a situation it's difficult for me to turn it around until I've moved on from the situation entirely like I just know so I know my parents have really got my back there is literally nobody putting pressure on me at all other than myself however I do want to go out and have a good time tonight because this is the kind of thing I would do anyway like I came and did this in the summer I wasn't at uni here like I love Prism I love Gabby I haven't seen her since we moved here like I did have a really good night on Monday night it was such a laugh um so I'm gonna give it a bit more time obviously however I want to let you guys know in advance that like I am considering dropping out i'm not saying i will i'm not saying i won't i'm just saying it's a thought i definitely have a backup plan and if this is all these couple of weeks decide for me that uni isn't for me like at least i've still gained something from it do you know what i mean like i've still gained something as a person life skills and i know now myself that i've tried it i'm not saying i'm dropping out i'm talking as if i am because right now that's the mood i'm in but in the morning i'll probably be like yeah let's do this let's go until about lunchtime when i like i want to go home again yeah i'm definitely not making a decision right now i'm making a decision about a skill skirt or a pair of jeans this is the skirt very short oh, i don't know i need to ask gabby what she's wearing but she's not replying so i finished getting ready this is a tip i've got vlogs on i think i'm watching saffron right now i am watching saffron i've just had youtube running for the last like, 45 minutes and this is my outfit apart from right i feel really hot like in my room and i'm like if i'm warm here what is it going to be like in the club because like i love this top so so much it's from i saw it first i think it's just perfect for going out because it's like it covers you up but it doesn't but because it's like really holy it's actually surprisingly warm like what is that thing about like surface area i remember something from biology about like if you've got holes and stuff it actually insulates you i don't, I don't want to wear a skirt because it's so cold outside but it's warm inside and i have to queue and what do people do in this situation do you just tough it out and deal with the cold queue or like what because i'm a grandma like i would take a coat right now 
but obviously you don't take a coat clubbing. So I'm gonna leave my camera here again, but I'm gonna vlog on my phone. So yeah, and as of Friday, the quality of footage on my phone will get so much better. I think I've said I'm getting the iPhone XS. I keep forgetting what they're called. The new iPhone, because basically when I dropped my phone in the swimming pool in Greece, I broke the microphone and the um, speakers, and now you can't hear anything out of the speakers and you can't actually hear me when you call me on the phone, which is quite a problem considering it's actual you is, you know, a phone. Let's go and see Gabby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm back. It's quarter to three in the morning. I'm not gonna lie. I am very tired like very tired. I'm not that drunk I'm just very tired. So I'm gonna go to sleep. I had a proper heart-to-heart -heart with Gabby Really good like just like getting it off my chest everything I've been feeling the last couple of weeks Well, last two weeks really not a couple of weeks um, Saying like everything it just felt nice to talk to a friend from home Obviously, I saw like some of my YouTube friends last week But that's the first time I've seen Gabby in ages actually because she wasn't she was on holiday for like a month at the end of summer So I didn't see her before I left but I just want to sleep now so that is what I'm gonna do. So I'll pick you up in the morning. Good night. It's now Thursday morning and this morning I didn't have to be in uni until 12. It's currently 25 to 12 and I filmed a morning routine this vid this video this morning because I think you guys will really like it. So filmed a morning routine and got up quite slowly, quite leisurely. Feel a bit rough after last night, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm still very much all over the place with what I'm doing, where my head is at. But I have filmed a video this morning and I did actually really enjoy doing that. Um, which I think has cemented the idea that I love doing YouTube and maybe aren't loving doing this course so much but I guess we'll see. Um, I'm not going to talk about what I've done this morning, what I'm wearing because all of that will be in my morning routine video which should be up really soon. I don't actually know when but soon. And yeah, I'm going to go to uni now. So it's a lot later and me and Gabby, we're watching, we're watching Gossip Girl from episode one which looking at them they look so young and it's kind of cringy but I love it. And I also brought this snack round which I bought at the weekend. It's like a flapjack tray thing and what well, is a flapjack? Well yeah it's not like it is and I've come to Gabby's flat. Yeah we're just having a little chat watching Gossip Girl eating some food. This is making me want to go to New York so much so if anybody wants to come to New York with me like now hit me up. I have been at my friend Gabby's flat since I think 9 p.m. basically my friend Eleanor who I've made on the course we went out for tea tonight and it was actually so nice and I'm feeling like a lot more positive i don't want to jinx it but like today was actually really good and what we did in the course was boring like i literally didn't enjoy it but going out tonight with her was really nice and then we came back to my flat and eleanor came with me and she met my flatmates and my flatmates met her and like we were just talking and i think we're gonna go out next week like all of us because obviously i'm the only girl in the flat so gabby is back now i'm just talking to myself gabby went to make a drink um and then i came to gabby's at about nine o'clock and it is now midnight and i need to go Basically, because I have uni at nine in the morning. You thought I was on the phone? No, this is me but talking. You've always to got a camera. Always ready with my camera. Do you know what? I'm only using it because I've, I haven't been able to do it in front of anybody for like two weeks because I'm too nervous. So you should feel privileged that you get to witness this. Oh, Gabby just clicked her arm. Anyway, I'm gonna get a taxi back to my flat now. It's about four minutes in an Uber, but I'm not gonna walk. Oh. I don't even know how you get a taxi. That's the only reason why. I have to go down on the street and like call one. Is it like London where you hail a cab? Like I don't know how it works in any city that's not. Cat one. Yeah, which is the exact exact same as uber so what is the point so i'm in the lift and it stinks like cider like somebody has spilled a drink on this floor so the uber is one minute away and i will not lie to you <laughs> look at the weather look at the rain oh so cold fully have strands of my hair that i just haven't straightened straightened curl good morning i am running late absolute shock to be fair this is the first time i've run late the whole time i've been at uni um and today is friday and tom is coming tonight and i'm so excited um and i'm actually quite looking forward to today i have a full day um being in inducted on the computers like we don't have a computer login yet so it's been a bit annoying because he can't send us emails or anything and i've been there two weeks and like it's a bit annoying so today i'm getting my email account everything set up and then i don't actually know what we're doing this afternoon some like 3d sculpture workshop or something so i'm running late i really need to go because i'm gonna miss the bus so i finished at uni and i went for like a quick shot in trinity just because there's like quite a few essentially bits that i needed to pick up whether it's gross. Okay, I'm actually going to end the weekly vlog. I'm back from 
Uh, well, I'm not ending it right now, but I'm about to end it. I am back from shopping in Trinity. I've just made myself some grilled cheese on toast. And then I tripped the electrics by using the oven. So all of my clock and radio have just gone out again. Um, but I'm going to have my lunch now. I've got the most squashed, gross looking packet of mini cheddars. But I'm so excited about them. Oh, and a very squashed chocolate mini roll. That's not even worth eating. I have now five and a half hours till Tom gets here. Because I finished uni at lunch today. So I need to tidy the whole flat. Like, I kid you not. I haven't tidied my room in a week i haven't tidied the kitchen in two weeks and neither have any of the boys the rubbish hasn't been taken out for two weeks so i need to do all of that because it looks gross it's a bit rank and i want to do it for me but also because tom is coming so yeah i'm gonna eat my lunch and watch youtube and then i'm gonna edit this vlog so i'm not gonna vlog the weekend with tom just because we are filming another video possibly two videos i'm not really too sure yet yeah i'm not vlogging just because i want us to be able to like enjoy the weekend and be able to see each other so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the weekly vlog it has been up and down right now i'm feeling a lot more positive about being in leeds i've enjoyed the last two days kind of looking forward to next week because there is a really cool freshers party next week which i will vlog where i'm dressing up as a zebra so like i'm pretty excited for that i've even bought stripy stockings like yeah that'll all be in next week's vlog though subscribe if you're new give it a huge thumbs up and if i've hit 100,000 by the time this goes up one i'm exceptionally grateful two if you're not subscribed and you need to subscribe you do you need to because i'm almost at 100,000. please go and do that now sorry i'm just choking a bit and i'm gonna go and eat my grilled cheese on toast now so i will see you all very soon with another video if this has gone up on Tuesday instead of Saturday that's because my schedule's a bit all to pop because I got the new iPhone because I needed to film a haul like it's just all over the place please bear with me I'm gonna eat now have a nice night have a nice day let this vlog be a lesson that even when you're really struggling to think of the positives you can end the week on a high like I have been up and down all week but that's what these vlogs are for so I hope you guys are okay and yeah I'll see you very soon bye